Okay, so I'm going to start working the laptop. I'm going to be replacing the hard drive with an SSD and moving the hard drive into where the optical drive was. And I've already moved the slot loading DVD writer. Okay, I better get started. Disconnect the power, first of all. Remove the battery. And yes, actually these are Starbit. So this just depends on the laptop. After a great start, I'm missing the magnet. So my laptop is the Dell Studio XPS 16. Move the optical drive. So I did. I removed the optical drive a good while ago. <coughs> I put it in an ex external ex an external enclosure. Okay, down into the thing. It's a thing of beauty. So. I think this laptop does look really nice on the inside. It's very well organized. And then I have to unscrew the main screws holding the keyboard down. If I can remember. It's a good idea always to have some designated area too for keeping screws. Because some of the laptops I've seen are dire for the amount of screws and in awkward positions and weird types as well that all have to be put back in exactly the right place otherwise it doesn't hold together properly. I like the integrated connector here too. Covering the power and SATA in one. And there is our hard drive. And the SSD, the Kingston 128 gig. Uh, it claims to be something like five times faster. I haven't checked the benchmarks for this. I just made sure it had like reasonable reviews, and then just choose it. I just have to. You notice instantly as well the weight difference. The SSD is a is a good bit lighter than the hard drive, and it just looks a lot sleeker. And I could put the. I might actually put the little riser on this. Because if you can see, it's not flush with the top. So, the 2.5mm riser then just goes in on top. And then, in this case, I don't think it would make that much of a difference. But the fact that they've included it, I might as well use it because it's not as if having a spare riser for an SSD is going to be useful anytime soon. Peel off this sticky stuff. This looks like it's got double back or sticky back plastic or something or double sided tape on it. Perfect. Now this goes back into place. Yeah, this laptop is just very accessible in general. If you're just changing the hard drive, it's no bother at all. 
guess just the extra work comes from um, keeping the other hard drive, replacing the optical drive with it. That means opening up the front panel or the top. And that's where the hassle comes. In any of these more awkward bits, where we just say, oh, now I'll cut to a picture of a cat. And I'll have miraculously finished. That was actually much quicker than you expected. So perfect. Now this is off and we've opened up this part. Opened up the front, revealing where the optical drive used to sit. If you can just a bite suit there. There, this bear. And thank God for Hong Kong providing all my computing needs at reasonable prices. So I just ordered one of these and it's an adapter just that basically resizes the optical drive there so it fits um, a hard drive instead. Why? Is that got there? And the screws were just caught up. But so it's like that. And then the front, there's nothing on it at the moment. There's no faceplate because I'll be using a slot loader. But they also include a dummy front if you want your your laptop if it's not a slot loader, and you want it to look sort of normal or pretend that there's there is a, still an optical drive. And you've got that option. Can I? This is actually pretty solidly built. It was expensive enough, I think I can't remember how much it was, but hopefully it was worth it. The original slot loading drive is that and then this so you can see it's just mimicking it, basically. If you were bothered enough, you could have bought a cheap, a cheap um, DVD drive and hollowed it out and put it in. But I just couldn't be bothered. I didn't know if there was anything that they had to do in addition. I guess you just need to get the, the right connector, and then that drops into place. And I think that should be it. With the SSD. And the HDD. Yeah, the only stuff that, that has, would be lingering about still, stuff that I backed up on CD back in the day. That was just loads of random stuff and saves from Riddler 2 and all sorts. Riddler 2 uh, is a great game and you can play it on pretty much any PC now. Because all, all my old laptops would play it. Hook up the external CD drive, which is being operated by USB to IDE kit that I got years and years ago, and I hope that I haven't fried it completely. No, come on. Actually, should check the setup. Make sure it's recognized.
This is the moment of truth. Yeah. If you can see, which you probably can't because of reflection, is now recognizing my main hard drive as the Kingston SSD and recognize the Cynical Optical disk drive as another hard drive at 500 gigs. So it has been a success. And now all that's left is to install Windows. And that should be me.